Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Phantasm in your HTML document. For you to include the Phantasm, open your browser and type Phantasm. Then the first link, where there is a Phantasm.com, click the link. Uh, this is a site for the Phantasm. So here what, are, what you're going to do is, as you can see them here in the rightmost top corner, there is a sign in. As for now, just assume that I don't have any account. So initially for me to access the icons from the Phantasm, I need to have the account. For that, go there and find this start for free. Click there and scroll down a bit. Enter your email ID to create your first kit. Just type your valid email address. Let me enter my email address. Then click here, send kit no kit code. Now go to your email, log into your email address there. So I've not received anything. So what I'm going to do here, resend the confirmation email. But make sure that your email address is right. As you can see them here, the message has come now. Click there. So what you can do there, click here. Click to confirm your email address plus set things up. Click there. You can see them here enter the password that you want to give let's say i'm going to enter the password and confirm the password the password that you want so after that set password and continue password did not match so i need to make sure that i have to enter the right password in both let me re-enter here we go right then from there you're going to set your first name my first name my last name so your first used font awesome in the year that you have used i'm using this one since 2019 that's so then all set let's go okay this is a font awesome website now as you can see this link here the, together with this script tag this is the link that we are going to use in our HTML document in order to use the icons from the font awesome website so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this one or you can just say copy kit code so what I'm going to do now I'm going to open my code editor here is my visual studio code editor so what I'm going to do let me open the file uh, open folder what I'm going to do in my in my desktop I'm going to create a folder or in the desktop I'm going to create a folder name called let me create a folder okay I'll click select the folder here this is a folder that I have created now let me create a file the file name is index.html so here is index.html here I'm going to so this is a basic HTML document now what I'm going to do let me open my browser this is the link that I'm gonna use in my HTML document in order to use the icons from the font awesome website so just click here copy kit code then open your text editor in the header section maybe before the title let me paste the link so this is a link is going to help me to use the icons from the font awesome websites for example now let me say I want to use the icon for the Twitter or the Facebook or Instagram whatever so what I'm going to do let me go to the home page how to go to the home page you can go to the font awesome.com go to the home page here search for the icons let's say i'm going to search for the twitter icon click enter as you can see them here there is a variety of icons for the twitter so if you want to say for the facebook just type facebook then hit enter so that you will get the icons for the facebook so among these icons you're not allowed to use everything so make sure that you have to click the free so that the free icons will be displayed uh, if you want to use if you want to use the pro ones you have to pay so as for now let me assume that you want to use the free one so click the free one then you will be listed out with the free icons 
let me say I want to use this icon so click this one then this is icon that we are trying to use so what you can do as you can see them here this is the coding part that we are going to use them in our HTML document in order to use this icon so just click up just click here it will be copied then open your text editor go to the body control V just paste them there then save this one run this one using your browser let me open my browser as you can see them here this is an icon for the Facebook but you may think that this icon is too small and you can't see see it properly in order to increase the size you can use the styling for you to increase the size and maybe if you want to change the color of this icon that one can be done so for you to do that what you are going to do in the head section what I'm going to do let me say I'm going to include the style tag so now I'm going to style the icon, right? That icon is from this part of coding. So that part of coding has got a selector of class. So this is the name of the class, right? So now I want to style the class. So how can you style the class? You have to start with the dot. What is the name of the class? Let's say fab. This is a, this is a what name of the class name, right? So open there. Let's say maybe font size. Uh, let's say 100 pixel maybe next one is let's say color maybe red just save this one open your browser refresh the browser as you can see them here the size of the icon is different it's been increased to the 100 percent 100 pixel actually not 100 percent it's 100 pixel and the color of the icon is uh, red in color so this is how you can use font awesome and this is how you can use the different icons using the font awesome i hope you enjoyed the session for more videos kindly subscribe to beginners guide